short. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion, Vershawn Jackson. Touchdown. Vershawn Jackson, number 34, gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Defending Terrell Farley, who last week in his first start was a holy terror. Number 43. And Jake Bakovic. I popped a few catch. He said the Bog got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Coppel Chevrolet GMC Studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered by Bauer. Here he is, Sean Jackson. Yes, yes. yes. We got an echo in it, Bach, it sounds like a little bit. I don't know, but let's go. All right. Welcome to 93.7 The Ticket. It is gang day, Bach. That's right been waiting for the men and women we are here live march mayhem with 93.7 the ticket live from buffalo wings and rings off 68th and O. doors open up at 10 30 today come on down and have some fun with us eat plenty of food drink your drink Play you some kinos, watch some basketball, chill out with Nick Sainter, chill out with Bella, chill out with the captain, chill out with Rico, DP, Jay Foreman, not Sorensen, not Strickland. They're already at the game. And Austin also going to the girls' game tonight. So let's not forget to talk about the girls, too, when we talk about this Nebraska basketball game going on today, Bob. Yeah, it's exciting. Obviously, this is the day that, that we've all been waiting for. Ob- not very often, not very often, I should say, does Nebraska uh, make the tournament on both sides, but especially you look at Nebraska basketball uh, on the men's side, the second time since 1998 in an NCAA tournament game. So there's only been one other day since then uh, that, that you've had this type of opportunity. That's where we are today. And of course, uh, you know, I think they, I think the media has done a pretty good job of kind of burying the lead a little bit this this week the trev alberts factor you want to focus on uh you know the the game on the court and the trev alberts stuff can kind of subside but it is it is it is spice it up a little bit as we got plenty of spicy food if that's what you like out here at buffalo wings and rings but uh it will be an exciting day it's kind of the, the countdown i know i look look saw last night kent bavelka having trouble sleeping i did myself i mean there's everybody that's in husker nation uh again has been working toward this day in and, and here we are, 5.50 tip time for Nebraska and Texas A&M as far as the men's side and then the women's side at 9.30. Uh, you can catch that all here at Buffalo Wings and Rings, too. So it, it, it's, it, we're going to have a fun time out here. Had a great time yesterday. The, the, the mayhem started. Um, we got some upsets yesterday, and, and, and hopefully we get more of the same. I think most people's brackets are busted. Uh, but now you just hope to, to survive and advance the way that teams do uh, as well uh, as you can. So um, yesterday, um, Nebraska new AD. He was at the shoot around. No, um, no sighting of Trev. I don't think he's going. That's what like the reports that. are. But um, the the new AD was at the shoot around and meeting people. Um, he's not trying to take away from the kids. He's just trying to you know get familiar with the program and meet the coaches. And um, I think that was a good thing to do. But you know, we got a game to play today, Box. So, and and what Nebraska needs to do early is probably just stay hot and get hot and try to stay hot the whole game. The captain's in the building. So, we're looking at a different guy who's not moving very well today, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I the big man's chair back here? If you want. If you want to. I the big man's chair back here. But yeah, Nebraska, I, I think it's going to be interesting to see, uh, especially I mentioned this the other day, the, the K-State Tominaga mania that is expected. Um, you know, how does that get going? Does K-State come out and take a couple shots right away? Um, and, and if he can hit it, I mean, maybe he can be the next Jack Golke who we saw last night for Oakland hit 10 threes. I don't know if that should be the expectation, um, but he certainly it can get the building behind them there at, at FedEx Forum in Memphis. Um, I, I feel like Nebraska is going to be a, a, certainly a fan favorite. And I think Husker fans are going to travel well. We saw a little bit of travel uh, flight problems with Strick and, and Sorensen. I'm sure that happened to a few others. But uh, they, they're going to make it out there. Uh, and, and it's going to be packed. I mean, I, mean, I, I got to believe that the juice for this, especially with Trev Albert's factor in there, the fact that Nebraska hasn't won a tournament game 0-7 in their history, uh, builds up uh, for, for quite you know a thick plot today. Yeah, I think it's going to be – turn me up a little bit. It's going to be a little bit interesting uh, to see which basketball team comes out and plays this game. I mean, it's going to be – you know, it's going to be emotional uh, because this whole Trev Albert saga, I think it's going to be very, very emotional. 
I think we got to go out. We got to be calm and collective and just play our, our style of basketball. And I call those guys a bunch of Eric Stricklands. You know, when they're playing defense, great defense together, they do great things. I thought you told me, Bob, that there is no home court advantage. I thought you told me that. Well, well you mean in, in in these games? Yes. Well, there's not necessarily a home court advantage, but there's true. a building advantage that can get That's going. Right. People can get home. excited. Wait a minute, though. Wait, wait. Just, just a second, my friend. Where's North Carolina playing? I don't know where North Carolina is exactly. playing. Exactly. That's why I'm trying to tell you. North Carolina is playing. North Carolina is playing in North in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's not Chapel Hill. That's the point. That's still not your home court. That's a. That's not a home court. That's not true though. If, if it's in the state, I think it's still home. Court. That's a home state advantage. That's not your What's home better, court. You're still home playing court with it. Home state. It probably home court. I mean, you still. I mean, it Purdue's doing the same. They're playing in Indianapolis, so I mean, the, not making a long trip can help. But how many Indianapolis teams are there? How many Indianapolis teams yeah, are there? Indian, Indiana teams. Oh, several. Yeah, plenty. Yeah. Okay, North okay. Carolina's the same way. Plenty no, of teams. That's playing in the Indianapolis that that particular conference or bracket. That, <laughs> that's what I wanted. I mean, I'm serious. How many North Carolina teams is playing in North Carolina? If it's North Carolina and they're the number one team in the in the they're, they're the number one team in that seed. Yeah, yeah. And they're playing in their home state. Is that an advantage? It's an advantage, but it's probably an earned one considering they're number one seed. That shouldn't be earned. This is a tournament. Well, it's not. I, I see what Box saying because it's not their home court, so they're not just going to go in there and shoot threes to death because they're used to playing in this place. This place is just, you know, a, a place that they're close to. You know, it's not a. It's yeah. a. It's a no, I, I would say it's a crowd advantage. Are there games in Omaha? There are games in Omaha. Perfect. Is Creighton there? No. Is Nebraska there? No. Exactly. But if Creighton or Nebraska, we talked about this, if Creighton or Nebraska played in this regional here, it would be a home, it would be a state advantage. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, North Carolina playing in North Carolina. Yeah. They got an advantage. It's an advantage. It doesn't factor into Nebraska and the Texas A&M, though, in Memphis. I'm not saying that. I, I, what, what I'm going back to is when I saw that North Carolina was playing in North Carolina, and I asked, we talked about this last time, I said, well, why wouldn't Nebraska be nice to have Nebraska or Creighton and or both playing in the Omaha Regional? Why would you put Creighton in Omaha? they from Omaha. Yeah, I, I think it's like in the guidelines that you can't play at your home court, basically. But uh, Nebraska, So Nebraska could have could have been there. That would have been nice. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to – listen. Do you actually think for one second that both the men's and women's teams are playing Texas A and M, and that wasn't strategically done? No, I think there was. I think there was some, yeah, some my, reason my, to put some juice in that matchup. Okay, my next deal is because 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 they're different seeds. Okay, mm-hmm. my next deal is because they could have put them in a different regional. Is if um, I drew, I just drew a blank. CTE. <laughs> Dang, you were leading up to something, though. I was. It was something good, too. <laughs> it was, oh, 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 that's what it is. Okay, thanks. Creighton, right? Mm-hmm. They won. Yep. Who do they play? Who do they play next? Yes. Duquesne. Or not Duquesne. Illinois has got Duquesne. Uh, Creighton's got Oregon. Yeah, the oh, matchup with Dana Oldman. Oh, yep. oh. Did you think that that just happened to... It, it just they just set that that way. It just fell, fell that way. No, I don't fell think that so. Way? They no. just pulled the names out of the hat, and all of a sudden, all the teams fell the way they're supposed to. No, it's about storyline. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you right now, North Carolina has a home court advantage. I'm I'm gonna go on a limb, and I'm gonna say North Carolina will probably in the final four. Well, they're they're not gonna play in Charlotte all the way down. They I just did the first couple games. Well, it, it doesn't matter. You you it's the way you start usually is the way you finish. So if you start hot and you and you you, I just think that North Carolina is a team. To I did, I mean, I picked them as my champion. That you're not necessarily going on a limb because they're the number one seed, but uh, it it is a it is a team that you know I think has a chance to win the championship. I also thought the same about Kentucky, and that lasted all of one mm-hmm. game. So I mean, it's wild the times in in, in March, and we know it. Um, you know, you can be great, and this this is what basically Jack Golke said the other day, and I can try to pull it up. Um, is is that you know you can be great. Uh, and you might not be the better player, but he says, I know I'm not going to play in the NBA, but I can't compete with those type of guys uh, on a given day. And especially when you tank 10 threes uh, like Jack Golke did, um, upset alert is for everybody. So it, it's he can't keep that up. No, he can't. He's no. not likely going to keep that up. But that's how you that's how you get, 
upset and uh, and and get have a special moment uh, for Oakland like they like they did last night. Most teams in this tournament, I mean, we know that this tournament has a history of upsets. So I don't think we've seen the last of them. Kansas w- w- was on the brink mm-hmm. of being upset. You know, there was a couple teams on on the road. So I look for more teams to be upset, but I I think it's a very very intriguing day too. Uh, especially with Nebraska playing Texas a and Yeah, we are, by the way, live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th to know. We've got, uh, it's about 10.20. They said open doors about 10.30. So uh, if you want to make it out here, uh, plenty of chance to watch all the games today, but also the Nebraska and Texas A&M game. Mm-hmm. Who do you like? Uh, I like, I like, um, I like Nebraska because, you know, I mean, I see the matchup they made, and we talked about it, but we didn't eat that news up like they wanted us to. We didn't, we didn't buy into that Trail Albert story with going to A and M, and that that makes us more better. I think it makes it better for our team to concentrate and go in there and, and handle business on both sides. That's what I think. I think Nebraska women and men should advance today if they go ahead and play their game. You know, we got to play this. You know, the offense for the men needs to come out hot, needs to stay hot. Needs to play great defense. I know that this this team is a great offensive rebounding team, and we just have to handle the stuff down low and try to try to win or stay close in the battle for the rebounds and, and shoot great football. I mean, shoot great three pointers. And I'm talking about football. I'm talking about football. <laughs> but yeah, shoot. Did you play basketball in high school? No, I ran track. I didn't think so. Hey, hey, that's okay. You, track was better than football. The way you, I ran track too. Hey, yeah, track basketball. was better than football. Basketball. You, basketball and track don't play at the same time. What that, that, it doing? doesn't. What were you doing during basketball season? I was we was running into a track um, at, at the school. We was actually in the in the school running the hallways and and running the gym. Okay. So we 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 started at practice probably late January for for track. Gotcha. Yeah, you might need to turn me up just a little. Listen, March Mayhem with ninety three point seven the ticket live from Buffalo Wings and Rings, sixty eighth and O Street, all day from ten a.m. six p.m. All of our shows will be out here. Come watch all the games with us. Nebraska plays Texas A&M, 5.50 p.m. sharp. Make sure you get your table. Get there early because if you don't, we fill up fast. Don't forget the Husker women's team playing at 9.30 p.m. Stick around all night. We'll have all types of different prizes, appetizers, beer buckets, beer pitchers, a Coors Light backpack cooler, Budweiser aluminum cap, Dr. Pepper prize pack, Coca-Cola T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First game starts at 11:15 with Northwestern taking on Florida Atlantic. Who are you guys like in that game? Mm. That's a good one. I, that's I think a good that's one. one of the better point guard matchups, obviously, that you've got there with Johnny Davis and, and, and Boo Booey. Uh, it, I, I mean, Florida North, Atlantic. You like Florida Atlantic? Yeah. Northwestern has been down with Ty Berry for a while. They haven't played. You know, they did well without him uh, the first couple games. Hasn't been quite the team they were with him, I think, on the floor. Um, I like Florida Atlantic, too. Though I'll be cheering, I always cheer for the Big Ten. Uh, I ain't cheering for the Big Ten on this one. Florida Atlantic all the way. Okay, with more games to come, entire, I mean, the entire day will be more games. Great food, beer, prizes, sports talk. Buffalo Rings and Rings, 68th and O Street. Be there. See, I'll just do it to break there, but fortunately for me, you guys ain't on point. Well, we're here with you. Yeah, you are. In, 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 the, in the flesh. Thank you, Bill. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 937 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick me up. Hold up. The new 937 The Ticket location has a milk coffee and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill times better. 
Stop by TCA Outdoor Power on March 22nd and 23rd for an open house and customer appreciation celebration. TCA Outdoor Power is a locally owned business located at 6210 South 57th Street and prides itself on being Lincoln's only elite steel dealership for over 20 years. On March 22nd and 23rd, enjoy 10% off select steel products and up to $350 off on select battery tools. Also, if you buy two steel batteries, you can double your limited warranty. Give TCA Outdoor Power a call today at 402-420-9424 or visit them for their open house celebration, March 22nd and 23rd. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch the NCAA tournament from the round of 64 all the way to the championship. Bring your friends and family in to enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early, grab your spot, and settle in for a day of NCAA tournament basketball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th in Yankee Hill. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just their professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at pahlincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. Hi everyone, Kendall Warnock. A1 Automotive in downtown Lincoln. The last few years have been wild, but we've been here for you through all the ups and downs and we'll be here for you when you need us the most. For all your travels and for your day-to-day -day driving. With winter conditions causing problems all over town, the last thing anyone needs this year is constant car troubles. Let us help you drive in peace and make sure you drive to work and to winter destinations safe. A1 Automotive, Leviton and L Street downtown, always honest answers. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping them meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending, we're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. Wall-to-wall -wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Drinking and driving causes serious harm to friends, family members, and loved ones. In 2021, 65 people were killed in Nebraska by a car crash involving a drunk driver. Do not drink and drive. By drinking less, you can still be here for your loved ones. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Old School with DP and J. Do you think it's too early to talk about Patrick Mahomes as the greatest of all time? You know, to be honest with you, I think he might be on ahead of the pace. It was definitely on on pace, maybe ahead of the pace. I think right now everything that he does is going to get over overblown. And I think people <laughs> so quickly forgot the 20-year run of the Patriots. Not five, six years. 20 year run of Tom Brady and the Patriots. On uh, 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. 
back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Power, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What? What are you looking at me for? Why is my device turned up now? Like this is yours. Well, we got it fixed. I know, but turn me down. It's too, it's too, it's too loud. You are here. a true complainer today. I don't want to hear it. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I know sore. because you, I've been up all night. I've been dealing with cars. I've been dealing with trailers blowing out tires. Don't start with me today. Uh, Look what I found, though. Look what I found. You can turn me up. I don't want you to turn me on. I said just, a, just turn me down. Just a hair. You're I want picky. to be able to hear these guys. Yep. Turn me up just a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Thank you. And right, all right, Bob. All right, that's perfect. There it is. Thank, Thank you, Rico. Bob. Thank you, Bob. Hey, look. Look what I found. What is look that? how that? beat up it is. This is the, the hat that I would gave me. Oh, from back in the day, huh? Yeah, I still got it. Nice. I should pop the, the, the ball off of it. Huh? Let me see, do it on air. No, nah, we just save it. We, we, we can use, some, thought, we can I, use I, something to light the grill. Look how, up wore, out, look how wore out it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be good to light it's the grill. Good. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. We play Iowa. Oh, we will, yeah. We play Iowa this year. Football, yeah. Yeah, we're going to like this. This is going to light the grill. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a tailgate, and we'll like. You we'll be careful. Like I uh, I did that with a Wisconsin shirt in 2014, and then Melvin Gordon oh. ran for 480 yards. Oh, don't so do it. Don't we don't that's don't probably not the grill idea. We don't know if we want to do that. Then that might yeah. not be the. That might did not I, be. Hayden Fry give you that then? I can't. I'm not gonna tell you who gave me that because Hayden got Fry NIL gave. back then. Then you had yeah. Iowa. Then they hooked there me is. up though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. They didn't give me no money though. Yeah. No, nah, not like these guys can get. They didn't say, "Hey, you want uh Anyway, speaking, speaking of Iowa, I got a question for you. I asked Bach the question earlier. I don't know if Bach read Addison, but you can you can hold off. Um, I asked him a, a question about Caitlin Carter. Is would she be would she be uh, does she have to win the national title to be considered the goat? I think so. I hate to be considered the goat, but yeah, I I mean, I, how did we how did we come up with a goat being the best player? I get the acronym, but a goat, <laughs> the greatest goat, of all time, a goat. The greatest of all time is a goat. Yeah. Think about that for a second. Goats, a goat. Goats are good enough. Animals. You don't eat goat meat, do you? No. I do. Do you drink goat milk? I eat goat meat. What do you use a goat for? The meat. You ain't. You, when was the last time you ate goat meat? Uh, probably a year ago. That's not true. Yes, who, cooked, yeah. who, who, who made it? Uh, They had it down in third 22. Okay. So, so before that, when was the t- last time? Uh, when I used to be in Atlanta, oh, that was like nine years ago. Because my my um, maybe the goat meat my kid's grandfather was my, my kid's grandfather was from the Congo, so we ate foo foo and goat. A so a little drunk and goat meat. <laughs> <laughs> you just coming in on hating rhythm. Yeah, yeah. You got a real hate in your heart I today, do. don't you? <laughs> The hate is real, y'all. The so hate sorry. is real. You ever, I don't know if you've been it called a, a hater two days in a row, have you? Hey, t- hey t- listen, t- when t- the boss t- call you a hater, you just own it. You own it. Have you been called a hater two times in one day? Yes. Yeah, the day is that you day. You own it. Yeah. You don't, you, don't, you don't balk at it and be crying about it. You just you become the hater that they say you are. Hater of the day, huh? <laughs> so that what you're going to be, the hater of the day? Are you actually gonna be the hater of the day? That, that you're gonna be that guy. I would see somebody like Nick or somebody, but whoa, you, whoa, you, whoa. Yeah. don't bring Nick into this. Nick ain't did yeah, nothing yeah, to this. Yeah. Nick wouldn't let me sit Look my cup. Nick, we got we you came down. We gotta stand up. We ain't about to let you come gloat yeah. on the captain show, boss. Yeah, yeah, Get out of here, boss. You ain't gonna come gloat on us on the captain show because you got the gear of all gear. Standing all crispy and white while yeah. we we looking like dingy He'll step come brothers. Up in here with yeah. His new white outfit on from head to toe clean and then go gloat us on our show? I think not. You have to fire me today, DP. It'll be the day that we get fired. We get, who's going with me? Nobody, just me. Yeah, you're going to get up and go by yourself. I will. I'm a man. I'm 40. Nah, I'm just saying, Here we go with the Ric Flair again. Yeah, yeah, Two yeah, days man. in a row. In a row. He, gonna, he gonna woo Two days us, in a row, he gonna come woo yeah, us. Yeah. At the table in front of us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, look what I got. The other day he did this to me. Look. 
Go on, dust your shoulders off. Man, <laughs> oh, yeah. Get out of here, DP. <laughs> That's a nice one, yeah. I didn't see it. I didn't know. Bach, 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 please don't, 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 don't. Do. Bach, where's oh, yours? You know, oh, Huskers on where's the Where's yours, Bach? Friend at the bottom of the Where's shirt. yours? Uh, I don't have one of those. What? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> team, <laughs> team, 90, team 93.7, right? Yeah, 93.7, <laughs> the ticket looked like the only one getting yeah. the, the payola <laughs> and the side stuff is the boss. Now, uh, we like good stuff, right? You get your share. I do get my share. I yeah, don't, right. don't, don't. I'm just saying, you you started this stuff. Because uh, she was like DP looking crispy in his white jumpsuit. But I didn't go to hate mode. You know, I didn't I didn't, I didn't go either. to that. I, I, think I didn't go to there. hate. No, I didn't. I said, I said, I like white crispy jumpsuits. Well, just get, I wear get, size what? 14 Husker <laughs> shoes yeah. with the Husker at the bottom of the yep. shoe. I like white Nebraska hats. I uh, like that, that stuff. Th that sounds like a hater, though. No, it doesn't. It does. It sounds like somebody asking for some gear. You got money. You're a car salesman. You're supposed to have that. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China, sir? You're a Husker. You're three-time national champion. You can go down there and get you some fresh little gear. You think so? Yeah. You, 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 who do I call? Uh, is the Adidas guy still there? Who is the Adidas guy? You do you know his name? Right, first name basis. Uh, I forgot his name. Then you can't help me. Well, you, you, you just could, talk, Rashawn. You've been in Lincoln, Nebraska, <laughs> Omaha areas for the last twenty five years. This is your hometown. This is your home state. This is the team you played for. You have been a coach there, recruiter there. I asked DC you for have his been mentioned by Coach Matt Rule on the radio for helping in recruiting. So why can't a guy <laughs> like you simply go down there and say, "Hey, JT, can I get an outfit?" <laughs> I jump to the guy said, and shoes. "Thanks for Sean Jackson <laughs> on, on, on on Husker <laughs> Radio. You're a hot commodity. You stop it. Hey, you stop it." I don't want to hear that. You stop it. You're Rashawn Jackson. I'm just trying to figure out. Now, your number may be bad right about now because nobody likes number 34 right On now, defense. Period. On defense. I mean, period. 34 on, is a reminds us. On defense. No, nobody likes Trev Alberts. Don't well, get it twisted. He's the best let's 34. Throw, the best, the best 34 ever. Now, who makes that? No, now, he was the, no, he was since, the, since, he was the since, biggest flip-flopper 34 ever. So, who would be the best number 34 now, Bob? If we had to, if we had to rank up, if we now Trev is thrown out the thirty-four equation, he's out the club. Who is the best number thirty-four of all now? Since Ooh. no more Trev, I, I I have three, four candidates. Three or four. That's the yeah. best thirty-four. If we keep yeah. Trev out of the club, yeah. Bach, you want to take again? I'm still voting for Trev. He had fifteen. You seconds. can't. No, 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 no. I said Trev's out. Come Trev's on, out. Trev's Listen to still the best Trev's out. Ever out. Wear at Nebraska. Listen, I'm we, sorry, it doesn't matter what he does post career. We understand that, but we're saying <laughs> we're saying Bach, we're trying to make the show funner. You know, right. you come out here with this this. See, look at you. Well, I know it's not the day to stand up for Trev, but he was a great Husker. He really was. We, we, okay, we you said take. Even, Trev. You didn't even watch him play. How old were you when Trev was playing? <laughs> yeah. How old were you? At three that? three oh, years old. Yeah, it was about two or three. Years. Yeah. Well, you don't even know. He, yeah. Oh, he was so great to watch. No, he loved him. He never he, watched he, the guy play because he had one of those baby Trev, Trev Alberts jersey Wait when he minute. was little. What I was? Watched, I watched Trev Alberts on CNN. That's how I'm all I got. What was Trev Albert's best game as a Husker? You could argue the Florida State game there at the end. You got a couple stop, of sacks on Trey. Stop. No. Yeah? No. That, yeah? I said best game. That's, that's going to be up there. It's you can't, have 15, sacks you can't have 15 sacks. Did they even count the bowl games in the regular season stats? I think they did for 93. Yeah, maybe. I don't know about that one. But where's what I'm going to tell you? I don't know. They went was, in and out of that with the NCAA. That he, was silly. I think he had a lot of best games. Yeah. But I'm, we're, we're, listen, can you, can you just humor us for a minute? Okay. Okay. So the question is, <laughs> Trev Alberts. Has been caught like Reggie Bush doing something undermining. And, <laughs> and, and we snatched his buckets, we snatched all his stuff. He's no 34. Trev Alberts is non existent in Nebraska history. Now, who's the best 34? Uh, you be quiet for a second because you asked the question. Okay. I'm just trying to get Bach to ask, answer your question. What? I just said, uh, <laughs> uh, Stuart Bradley. Ooh. At Nebraska? At Nebraska. Once he what left was that Stuart linebacker, Bradley's, what was Stuart Bradley's uh, 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 his his uh, stats at Nebraska? This is text line worthy, but we don't have the text line. <laughs> yeah, that's his stats were fine, but I'm telling you, when he left that linebacker core, they still had Lance Brandenburg and Bo Root and Corey McEwen. 
from 2006. Everybody hates on Kevin Cosgrove, but in 2006, they had 50 sacks as a defense. Now, Adam Carricker and some of the Jay Morris guys like that helped as well. The next season, 2007, that defense was awful. So I think there was something to Stuart Bradley being wow. pretty good. Wow. Wow. Hey, text line's open. We don't, we don't have it up, but next segment we'll have it up. Who, if Trev <laughs> was nullified, if he was nullified, who would be the next best number 34? Who you say? Oh, man. 34, yeah. You I know this nice, guy. I know this guy, nice though. 34. I know this guy. I know this guy. I'm we listening. <laughs> Are you ready? We're ready. My vote for the new best number 34 will be no other than a black shirt, <laughs> Randy Stella. Oh, <laughs> the best number 34 I almost ever. choked on my Come water. I almost choked another, on my water. A, another undersized linebacker who was also Are used in the punt return. Are you talking to DP return. or you talking to the people? I'm Stop talking, talking to, to the DP. DP. I'm talking you ain't, to you DP. ain't on the camera. You talking to DP. He, you you got to get DP to co-sign you now at this stage of your career. Seth <laughs> Talk to the people out there and catch this country. So Talk my number it. one 34 would be Randy Stella. Who's two? Uh, the, the, the one box is. Stuart Bradley. Yeah. Who's, who's three? Uh, it's a running back that was 34. Terrell Newby? Yep, Terrell Newby. <laughs> who's four? Give me another uh, 34, uh, Box. Uh, 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 uh. See, we, we're, the rules of engagement are we are either informing or performing. <laughs> now that you've done performing, let me hit you with the, the All-American number 34 at uh -huh. the University of Nebraska. Uh -huh. See, there's a consensus all American, uh huh, and Nebraska that wore thirty four. Yep, before track. Absolutely, his I'm name listening. is Dave Butterfield. Mm hmm. See, but y'all go ahead. <laughs> he gonna come. He gonna come in. Yeah, and, hey, he gonna come in. Just, he gonna him gonna come in and mic. Know. Him gonna come in and walk in and mic drop. Because you two guys, play, you set the stage for him to walk over and clown y'all. I still like Stuart Bradley. His hair was flowing behind that helmet. It was another third. There's another 34 that you guys are forgetting about. Whoa, but, but remember, Drew Brown? Who, yeah, Drew yeah, Drew Brown. Yeah, here's another one. You you guys are all on defense. How about offensive guy? That we're we don't ball. know too many 30. That running back, Terrell Newby. Yeah. Who, what else is running back play? Well, 34. What what, what number is Tyrese Knox wear? 30, what, was it 34? I don't know. Well, we wish you had a text line. because That's why I'm saying I'll be throwing y'all lob passes. Y'all let, well, you know, y'all let we DP, know. Y'all let you post that. You supposed to answer though, too. No, I'm asking you guys because see, you guys taking shots, and I'm asking. See, <laughs> he, he he said it. We was we. It's either entertaining or facts. We were entertaining at first, but I was trying to come with some facts. Well, we was giving you facts. We Ooh. gave you, but I gave yeah. you butter, butter, butter bean last time. Okay, Butterfield is the name, but I'm yeah. gonna call him Butterbean. I'm yeah. just saying, I gave you that Butterfield last time, and you guys just slapped me around. Yeah, and you're gonna go Stewart Bradley and a guy that didn't even finish. Yeah, Randy Stella didn't even finish That's at okay. Nebraska. He was electric. How can Punt you returner as a, as a linebacker? You can't take anything he, away from the kid. I'm not. I love the kid. Yeah, that's only, it. Yeah, he he's, only a, he's a good number thirty four. That's okay. He can play five games. He he's still a, he's, he's still good on, on five my, games. He's better than me. That's okay. Huh? See who's who's, who really, put who's you eight in? now? Who put you? You, you who's who, now? Who said your name, sir? That's the problem. <laughs> you said your name. I didn't say your name. Well, I mean, you and Bach put a one Stu Bradley yep. and a and a one B. Uh, what is his name? Randy Stella. Yeah, Randy Stella <laughs> ahead of a Rashad Drew, Jackson. Drew Brown. You put him up. Listen, you put him over Drew Brown. Yep. Ter you Terrell put him Newby. over Butterfield. Yep. You put him over Tyrese Knox. Yeah. There's a couple of other thirty fours that I care Meredith. Yeah. You, you listen. You guys put him over some people. What, what, what about the linebacker? What about Cody Glenn? Yeah, huh? Cody Glenn, that's a great what one. What about yeah. Cody Glenn? Yeah. Oh, but don't think you guys didn't say him. Oh, so yeah. you're telling we, me that we, we Randy Stella, hold up. Is Randy Stella better than Cody Glenn? I'm probably not. Exactly. Yeah, so Glenn. then it was a shot. You're hating. Now, let me ask you a question. <laughs> is, 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 is Stuart Bradley better than Cody Glenn? I'd say so, yeah. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Bob, seriously? Cody Glenn played like one year at linebacker. He was a pretty good running back. 
Uh, Stuart but, Bradley played like one year at linebacker as well. No, he didn't. He played the whole career at linebacker. No, exactly. But he actually played when the lights were on one year at linebacker. I don't Stuart think Stuart so. Bradley was not a two two year starter. No, he was not. Fairly certain he was. I'm fairly we'll certain he was. Well, we're gonna have to look that up. Yeah. Because we want to bring the facts, not fiction. See, that's what happened when you over there talking to DP. You let DP go over here and 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 just you lobbed the big. Big old fat baseball ball for DP to smack us out the park. Uh, see, now you're hating. On what? Just the fact that I didn't go your way on 34. I think so. I think you feel a little. Nah, I'm feeling a little. I'm <laughs> a little yeah, you feeling that? Now. Okay. And my next um, one, what What are we on? Six, seven? Rashad Jackson. Oh, there you, oh, go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would put you at the bottom of at the, the bottom total bottom of the You'll never go up. I'm number I don't They're care who le- whoever got 34 this year and they leave, I'm going to put them in front of you. So <laughs> every year you're going to drop. Who's number 34 this year, Rico? <laughs> By the Rico. way, Stuart Bradley, a three-year starter. Oh, my bad. Hey, who's yeah. number 34 this wait. year? Uh, uh, hey, can't take that Look who he was 34 last year. Three-year starter? Well, hey, what years were those? What years were those have been, Rico? That would have been 04, 05, and 06. That would have been Callahan's years? Yep. Oh, 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 oh okay. Okay, good job. Three-year starter. Who, huh? Who's 34 now? Yeah, let's just see this, Rico. Rico, why you always got to be bringing receipts, man? What? What? What are we doing? Is there 34 in there? Barrett, somebody, I can't listen. Leaving trip. He's yeah. a fullback. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He's been hey, he in front yeah. of me, too. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We it's, better go. Oh, you know, you, you, hey, well, throw it. Get us out of here. Only thing you, you rank know number what? I'm only thing, only I, thing you got to well, rank number I might one. I as well get up hey, look, here on this chair. Only thing you got to rank so with. Much, it's so much down there that I don't even want to stand in anymore. <laughs> only break, thing you going to be ranked at. Block, only man. rank you going to have. Girl, put you in the top seven. That's three time national championship. One thing for sure. How many you got? Yeah. I don't need but one. That's all I need. Yeah. You can't take all three rings with you, huh? Five times. Five times I was there for five years. Yeah. How many? How many Stella get in? Two. I don't know. That's okay. All right, Stuart All Bradley. Right, I, I'll give Stuart Bradley. I, 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 I like it. Now, if you bring facts, I'll give Bradley. That's what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> but but if he's a three year starter, I want to see what his stats were. We'll we'll bring those to you when we get back. Throw the break. Let's go. All right, you listen to the cat. Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0. Come on down as it is opening. Come get some good food and watch some games with us. We'll be here till six. Coming up next year on 93.7. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping to meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending. We're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. At Parkview Animal Hospital in Lincoln, it's not just their professional care that sets them apart, but their warm staff and state-of-the-art facilities. Whether it's for a routine checkup or a comprehensive medical procedure, at Parkview, your pet isn't just another number, but a valued member of their caring family. Visit them at PAHLincoln.com today and in person just south of 14th and Pine Lake Road. Parkview Animal Hospital, your pet, our passion. For happier, healthier furry friends. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, a slight chance of rain this morning, then probably sunny and breezy, an afternoon high around 49. Tonight, mostly clear, snow from that low around 24. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow, otherwise mostly cloudy, and a high around 45. I'm meteorologist Kyle Clucker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Now's the time to schedule your air conditioner service check with Bryant. Make sure it's ready to keep you cool and comfortable when you really need it. Call Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating, 467-1111. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. 
Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 in Orchard and across Nebraska. Prashawn Jackson here for Bauer Underground, who has been serving local contractors and utility contractors all across the state since 1997. When you see the black and white trucks, you know the baddest dudes in the business have arrived. Bauer is currently looking for equipment operators, laborers, diesel mechanics, and aerial linemen. Join the brotherhood built on hard work, authentic people, and pedigree of success. Bauer, a family-friendly company who reminds you, go be ready. At Southeast Community College, community is our middle name. Our continuing education classes offer personal interest, traffic safety and licensing, online learning, and adult education classes across Southeast Nebraska or online in your own home. Learn pottery or floral design. Take a computer course. Learn Spanish, how to start writing a book, or Air Fryer 101. See the full schedule of continuing education classes online at southeast.edu slash continuing SCC your path to possible. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy, we make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store, and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. When you were a kid, clubs were cool. Robotics club and space club and stuff like that. But what do adults get? Book clubs and quilting clubs? Nah, forget that. How about margarita clubs and old-fashioned clubs? Get to Upside Bar and Lounge for the best clubs in town. Try all 10 varieties of Upside margaritas or old fashions and take home a free souvenir glass. Grab the whole crew and pair it with Taco Night on Mondays or Whiskey Wednesdays. Upside Bar and Lounge at 29th and Pine Lake. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. All right. Let me let me make sure this is uh back good. with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. Yes, yes, yes. Cody Glenn did not wear 43 at linebacker. He was still 34, I thought. Uh, Joe B says number 34. Uh, 2526. Cody Glenn had a big career in the NFL, too. Coach special team stud. Torres BIB. VJ will always be my favorite 34 just for his blocking abilities. Mm, there you go. I mean, that's probably why that's where I get my juice from. Mm. Um, mm. Brandon Jackson, 34, Husker great. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. He was 32 in Nebraska. Um, Dalton says, the gold is nothing more than the mark of the beast. Do you believe that, Bob? <laughs> I don't know about that. That's what he said. Listen, Corey and Lincoln says, oh, man, uh, Corey and Lincoln just got, you got to, are you are you with us or are you against yeah, us? Yeah, I see you. You got to scroll down. Corey Lincoln just got kicked oh, out of there. Jay Foreman says every 34 is weak. <laughs> what? He's not impressed with the names. No. Hey, isn't he out of town? No, Jay Foreman's no, here. Not. Oh, I thought Jay was going to the basketball game. He's not. No, no. 
Hey, Jay, you like to say that in my face. Come on down to Buffalo Wild go. Rings and things, and let's get it on. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, Terrell. You can read a couple of I can't see that. That's too shiny Gosh. in my face. Hey, Nick. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. Why do we got you in the, in the pilot seat <laughs> if you can't do pilot things? Switch and you do that. like this to open it up and make it bigger. It's supposed to be, what is that? Control this. Oops. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone because if I don't, <laughs> if I don't, let's just swipe so we can see each other. Listen, it doesn't matter at this point. We'll come back to the text line. My 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 my, my point of all this is, my grandfather used to say to me, and my brother, you know, when y'all go out places, and if somebody is doing things wrong, don't let nobody make a goat out of you. Mm. Now I don't know, but I know there's some old heads out there that listen to the Captain Show. What did my grandfather mean when he said that? Did he mean the greatest of all time out of me? I don't think so. I'm just trying to figure this out. <laughs> so how come we named the GOAT the greatest of all time, the best at the whatever? I think you're overthinking. I think it's the acronym. It's just the acronym. That's about it, and it happens to be a GOAT. Yeah. Wow. So you. So what did, I'm what, trying to figure what out they, why my what, grandfather what, told me don't make – What did they I call Michael? Be, I want to be a GOAT, don't I? What did they call <laughs> Michael Jordan? The what? The best player. The of goat. all time. He's the GOAT. They call him the GOAT. Best player of all time. They call him the GOAT. When did the lingo, the GOAT, come around? That wasn't it's been a long time. It's not it been a long time. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. No, it has not. And DP, how long has yeah, the GOAT been going on, the GOAT in the Bay? How long has the word been going on? Not that long. Not 20 years. Huh? It ain't been long. It hasn't been long. It hasn't been long. I'm not buying that goat theory. That, it's been a long, <laughs> that, that the goat's been a long, a long time because I just told you my grandfather would leave us with that. My grandfather just died 10, 11 years okay, ago. Okay, that's the old saying. Right, but why would he say nobody? But, but if don't they got let another. Nobody make a goat out of you. If, if they got. Why he say nobody, don't let nobody make a goat out of you. I mean, that's the old saying, but sports-wise, we, we, we call it the greatest of all time. Okay. You know, that that's okay. our lingo for that part of it. You, you're part of that, huh? Huh? Who's the greatest of all time at linebacker at Nebraska? Yeah, you have more than one, and I mean, it's a goat? list. Who, uh, hold up, let me let me let me rephrase that. Hey, Bach. Yeah. Who's the goat? Who's the goat? Probably Levante. Somebody. Some people can say Levante Davis. Some people say Trev Alvin. Some people say Trev didn't play linebacker. They Let's they'll say Bo team. Rudd because he Bo he Rudd. got more tackles Barrett, than anybody. Barrett, 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 Barrett. Or, or whatever it is, you know. The list goes <laughs> on and on. Bo's the brother. Yeah, it depends who you like and who who you wanted to be up there. Who you like, Bach? Uh it's still Trev Albert, yeah. We keep, he's not a linebacker. <laughs> he's a DN. He won the linebacker of the year, so that's kind of odd that they give that to him. Yeah, I know, but that was that was like <laughs> they you can't put your hand down and still to me and still call yourself a linebacker. I think I think you're a, you're a rush in. Yeah, he made, he stood up, but he yeah. also a lot had his hand in the dirt. Yeah. But even, I mean, he's categorical. Why do you think, well, if he's category a linebacker, how come his career in the, in the NFL didn't last long? Well, I mean. Because he's not I mean, a linebacker. Because well, he had to play in space. Yes. Yeah. Injuries come when you don't know what you're doing and you got to play in space. You're doing, you're playing at a, out of position that you're not used to playing. So you're using different muscle groups. He played well enough to get drafted, what, top five? <laughs> he played well enough in college to get drafted top five, but he right. only lasted, his, I don't know, three years, four years? Right, yeah. First round, first fifth pick in the draft. Yeah, yeah, no. I I know Trev's a smart guy, and I think Trev's a great, great player. But when you put him in that linebacker category, we're talking about we're talking to Dick Buckus. We're talking Mike Singletary. We're talking Junior Seau. We're talking Zach uh, uh, Thomas. You you are you putting Trev in though? And and that name in that Ray Lewis. Uh, that we, that's what we're doing. Hardy Nickerson. Is that what we're doing? Not if you're talking Pro Bowl, but in college, on, he's got an uh, argument to be in there. I know, but but I'm saying when we put him at linebacker, I think that position, the name itself, it's like when we play when we when we're running this three three five defense, right? Do we have two rush ins? Do we have two true defensive tackles and two true defensive ends? I think we do. But it's a three three five defense. Yeah. So are those guys that they call? That guy that's like a uh, um like Chief Borders, right? A hybrid. What do they call it? Uh, well, uh, he's the same thing. The Jack, Ryan, Jack, the Jack, Jack linebacker. linebacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I get that point, but those guys have got their hand in the ground sometimes. 
So I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just simply saying. Well, he's a, that's true. a fourth defensive lineman. That's like a four, 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 three. When I, you turn it down to anything, I'm talking truth. Well, let me ask you a question. Hold on, YouTube. Bob. If you, if Trev Albers played the same position as you at linebacker, who would be better? It's too. That's an easy. I mean, come on. Could you see Trev playing where Jamel played? No. Could you see Trev playing where Phil Ellis played? No. Well, he ain't a linebacker. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's a more of a DN type. He's not a linebacker. Not a real one. What? what I'm not. I'm, guys, don't take it technical. I'm simply saying, linebacker to me is a stand up always guy. Did you ever put your hand in the dirt? No. I'm gonna ask Jay Foreman when he get here. <laughs> did he ever put his hand in the dirt? I'm telling you, he's gonna tell you no. Jamel Williams never put his hand in the dirt. Okay, so. I'm saying at linebacker position, straight. Could you imagine Javen Wright putting his hand in the dirt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're gonna tell you're gonna tell one of our guys that play linebacker, yeah, go up there and put your hand in the dirt. No, you're gonna tell him to go up there and blitz the best way he knows how, but don't put your hand in the dirt. So that's just me. I just think that there's a if you have you if you look at linebacker, yeah, you do have to put you got to put Barrett in that conversation. You got to put Barrett in that conversation, that linebacker. Levante David, to me, is the best linebacker. But then you got to go back to some of these old school linebackers as well. You got to look at you got to look at a Mike Anderson. To me, mm -hmm. right? You got to look at a Mark Mumford. People don't even know who Mark Mumford is. What number did Mark Mumford wear? Do you know? I don't know what number it was. What number did Mark Mumford wear? Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? doing Come on, man. You messing up. <laughs> Terrell, that's why we didn't got he said three Hello. fingers. One. Three fingers. You know what? Bill throw it the break. Yeah, 93.7. We are at Buffalo Rings and Rings live. Live. I mean live. March Mayhem going down. Nebraska tips Hello. off at 550. Women, they tip off at 930. Stick around all night. We'll be giving out crazy door prizes. 93.7 the ticket style. We'll be right back. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 937 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Hi, Husker fans. It's Matt Davison with 1890. Coach Hoiberg and his program have had an exciting season so far, and many of you have helped Husker hoops along the way by contributing to 1890. Let's keep it going and give Coach Hoiberg the best opportunity to succeed for many years to come. Visit 1890Nebraska.com and contribute today. And remember, 100% of your contribution goes directly to Husker student-athletes. How do people feel about getting Big Fitness Energy at Planet Fitness for $1 down and $10 a month? They feel as thrilled as a kid the first summer they're tall enough to ride the roller coaster! That's right. When you join Planet Fitness right now, you get access to tons of equipment and free fitness training in a clean and spacious club. Don't wait. Join the judgment-free zone today for that all-day energy. Download the free Planet Fitness app and join today for $1 down, $10 a month. Deal in soon. See Home Club for details. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Get rid of pesky critters once and for all with Bats to Rats. Their expert team is here to help you reclaim your home. 
No more sleepless nights caused by crawling critters or flapping wings. Bats to Rats ensures a safe environment for every family member. Check the website at bats to rats.com for amazing offers. And if you mention this ad, you'll receive $10 off your initial inspection cost. Call Bats to Rats today at 402-781-8691. That's 402-781-8691. Bats to Rats. Forget the lame excuse this year. Your boss already knows why you can't make it to work for those magical two days in mid-March. Join 93.7 The Ticket on Thursday and Friday, March 21st and 22nd at Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O for March Mayhem. Come early on Thursday and get a ping pong ball with a lucky team on it and stay all day for prizes throughout and buzzer beater upsets. It's March Mayhem with 93.7 The Ticket for the NCAA Tournament at Buffalo Wings and Rings, 68th and O. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member FDIC. The best time to have your air conditioner serviced is before you really need it. Call Bryant now and schedule your spring air conditioning service check. No matter what brand equipment you have, Bryant's trained technicians will thoroughly clean, inspect, and test to make sure it's ready to cool efficiently when hot weather hits. You'll stay cool and comfortable when you need it most. Just call 467-1111 to schedule your air conditioning check. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Early break with Sip and Jake. We do not go quietly in the night on early break. Um, we don't, and we won't. <laughs> Is that our motto now? A- <laughs> Is that our new show motto? Look at that. <laughs> we let you have that moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We won't. We won't. We we don't. We and, and we, we won't. won't. <laughs> <laughs> we it's our new one. Yeah, I'm getting a t-shirt. I want but we don't go quietly in the yeah, night. We voice pitch. early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com on the internet. KNTK FM first 93.7 The Ticket. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is 93.7 The Ticket. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion, Vershawn Jackson. Touchdown. Vershawn Jackson, number 34, gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley, Terrell Farley, Terrell Farley, defending Terrell Farley, who last week in his first start was a holy terror, number 43. And Jake Bakovic. I talked a few cats. He said that Bach got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Copple Chevrolet GMC Studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered by Bauer. Here he is, Vershawn Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. We in the building. We on O Street, the 68th and O Street. March Madness here at Buffalo Wings and Ring 68 and O Street. 10 a.m., 6 p.m. We'll be here all day. Come watch the games with a Nebraska plays, Texas A&M, and Trev Albers at 5.50. Uh, don't forget the Husker women's play also at 9.30 p.m. So stick around all night. We'll be giving out prizes from 12 to P, from 12 to 5, and it'll be a great time. Wrestling is going on. Wisconsin versus Nebraska. It's uh, Caleb Smith. I believe it is. He's down yeah. 3-1 right now. Yeah. 
So, but it's a great match. I'm, I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing. I, I can't see. I don't got a good. I think Nebraska is currently, in, currently in fourth place. They got seven wrestlers. Um, unfortunately, the big guy didn't make it to the next round. So he got, he got beat. Yeah, so he, he lost a tough one last night. But you know, overall, they're doing great in the NCAA finals. All right, so I, I think what we'll do next here is we're gonna go to uh, well he's he's all over him right now. Jeez Louise. Okay, March twenty second, another first round games. What do we got, Bob? Well, we're gonna tip it off here about eleven fifteen, uh, about five minutes with Florida Atlantic in Northwestern, eleven fifteen on CBS. Uh, I'm taking Florida Atlantic. I think we all three said we're gonna go with Florida Atlantic, right? Yeah, I think we're all going with Florida Atlantic you, there. You, is that right, Black mm-hmm. shirt? <laughs> uh, no, winner will likely play UConn. All right, number three seed Baylor against the 14 seed Colgate at 11:40 on True TV. Oh, I'm gonna run with Baylor. No, no upset pick there. No. Well, 14. Well, no, the three seed lost before Kentucky. Yeah, Oakland got Kentucky last night. But I'm going with Baylor too. Yeah, I'm going with Baylor there. Uh, then we have at 12.45 tip-off on TNT, San Diego State and UAB, the Blazers. Mm, that's going to be a good one. You know, San Diego State last year, they, they found a way to get it done and they, they, they'll go deep. I don't know. if I, I don't know. I think this UAB team may just upset them. I'm going UAB. Yeah, I like the Blazers as well. That was one of my 12-5 uh, upset picks. Well, no, nah, I'm going to go back with um, San Diego State. They had a great year, so – Last year, so I'm gonna give them a run again this Upset year. Upset alert! <laughs> All right, uh, at 1 p.m. we've got number two seed Marquette against the 15 seed Western Kentucky Hilltoppers again. 1 p.m. on TBS. I'm gonna go on the limb again, and, and I'm gonna say the Hilltoppers. You keep for going. some odd reason is gonna get it done you get on against that Marquette, who that they haven't. You'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Marquette hasn't done great in the tournament the last couple of years, but I'm still gonna go with Marquette to get the win there. Terrell, you big in market? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, one seed UConn against the 16 seed Stetson, 145 on CBS. I mean, how can you go against UConn? Yeah, how can you? Defending champs there. I'm going to step out on a limb right here and go <laughs> with UConn. Oh, yeah. All right. The six seed Clemson against the 11 seed New Mexico, uh, 2 10 p.m. on True TV. I go with Clemson. Don't know too much about New Mexico this year, so I run with Clemson. I don't know. When I look at it, this is another. This is another team, New Mexico team, that can upset. Uh, then play really good basketball on any given day. But I have to go with Clemson as well. I like Richard Pitino getting the upset there with New Mexico. Uh, number four seed Auburn. Check is- that. Yep. I'm going with you. Oh, you're going with yeah. Yep. Oh, there Flip we go. Flip flop alert. <laughs> well, flip yeah, my alert. first mind was to go with them, but then I got to thinking, ah, eh, better not go. Yeah, I'm going to Mexico too, just because Box said he's Auburn. I'm going with Auburn. He, yeah, you, you reiterated what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you. Uh, four seed Auburn against a 13 seed DL 315 on TNT. I like Auburn. Auburn. Yeah, Auburn. Auburn looks good though. The SEC and this will play in the fact with Nebraska and Texas A&M too has not got off to the best start in the tournament. Uh, I think Auburn does get the win there. Uh, I have another SEC team, seven seed Florida against a 10 seed Colorado, who got into this uh, after winning a rock fight with Boise State in Dayton. I'm going to go Colorado. Mm. Upset. Mm. Yeah, at some point you might want to start picking against these SEC teams because they haven't uh, – it was a tough day yesterday. Maybe that conference is overrated. It is. Yeah, I'm I'm going Florida. I don't think I don't think it's that overrated that where Florida won't get get the job done against Colorado. Yeah, I got Florida as well. Uh, then we have the game that everybody's attention will be on here in the state of Nebraska. Your eight seed Cornhuskers against the nine seed Texas A and M Aggies, five fifty on TNT. I only got one word for you. Well, it's three words. Go big red. <laughs> well, I you know my gut's telling me. That somehow, some way, the zebras are going to make it interesting and figure out how they're going to give the win to Texas A&M because money is involved. Just remember, I said it, but I'm taking <laughs> Nebraska. Yeah, I'm taking Nebraska too. Again, Nebraska 0 and 7 all time in tournament play. Uh, most of those being from a lower seed than the eight seed, but uh, we'll see what they can get that done today. Four seed Duke against 13 seed Vermont 610 on CBS. Dukies, Duke. All right. Uh, one seed Purdue against the 16 seed and Grambling, yeah. 625 on.
Yes. See you later, Gremlin. I should go just with Gremlin day. just because of Mickey. They just one day. Yeah, one day. Right. One day stay. That was a one day deal. Purdue. Now, Purdue lost to a 16 Gremlin. seed last year. Uh, did they? They did. Year. I don't have, think they're going to be It probably won't happen twice. Yeah. It's never happened twice in a row, right? Uh, four seed Alabama against the 13 seed College of Charleston, 635 on True TV. I'm going to go with the Bama. I'm going to go with the. A college of Charleston. There's your upset pick. Yeah, there's my upset right there. I like it. I like it. I'm going with that too. The SEC is going to be exposed uh, today. A oh, one seat Houston against the 16 seat Longwood. 8:20 p.m. tip off time on TNT. Where's this Longwood from? There's, is this a Virginia team? Yep, oh yep. man. <laughs> oh. And of course, the winner of that will face the winner of A&M in Nebraska in the second round. I'm going to go Houston because they need to rebound from that that Big 12 title game they played and they need to play some great defense um so they can wear themselves out or we can beat them in the next round and take it to the to what it is the sweet 16 yeah i'm gonna go houston too i think Houston's yeah. gonna be too much for longwood uh the five seed wisconsin against the 12 seed james madison 8 40 p.m tip-off time on cbs you know what did wisconsin win the big 10 they came up just short there. exactly oh, right, yeah. so I, I i love chucky Pepper them. I think, uh, you know, I love the family and all that good stuff, but I think they're going to get upset here. I like James Madison. Popular upset pick. I'm going with Wisconsin. I think Chucky Hepper gets it done. Maybe a little bit of a moment in the tournament. We'll see. Uh, Uh, What are you doing? Wisconsin. All right, we'll go to the 8th seed Utah State and the 9th seed TCU 855 on TBS. I like TCU just because I think they're more athletic. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going with uh, I'm going with uh, Utah State. TCU's been losing. They've been on a little bit of a losing. Streak. I'll go with Utah State too. I, I, I'll, I'll follow. I'll follow Bob block. Lee. <laughs> and then the nightcap, nine oh five tip off time on True TV. St. Mary's the Gales against Grand Canyon. Well, I did watch the what's that? The Western Conference Finals or whatever they are in yep, with yep. with Gonzaga mm-hmm. and they. Pretty simple handed to beat Gonzaga that day on game. You know, yeah. this team right here is a, a well coached team. Thought they should have got probably a better a better seed because of the record they have. I think they probably only lost what four games this year. But right. I, I I think they should have been a better seed. But I'm still gonna go with St. Mary's. Yeah, I'm going with St. Mary's as well. Like you said, just a good program altogether they've got running out there. All right, Captain. I, I I gotta go. This Grand Canyon. We, before we talked about this, remember Nebraska was playing Grand Canyon in baseball. Mm-hmm. We were all trying to figure out what's this Grand Canyon <laughs> yeah. college, and then all of a sudden they're in all types of different ter- baseball tournaments at the end of the season and stuff. I'm going Grand Canyon. I think there's gonna be an upset. I think St. Mary's does not get it done here, and Grand Canyon moves on. For what it's worth, St. Mary's does have seven losses on the year. Grand Canyon four. Different level of competition. Yeah, basically. we'll see. I, I think you know wins and wins and losses all played the same part. You won those games and you lost those games. So, wh- whichever team shows up is going to be the team that's going to win. Well, let's talk real quickly about Oakland, who beat K- Kentucky last night. And the bigger story kind of coming out that is, what does that mean for the Kentucky program? John Calipari, they have not been winning late. There's a question of whether we, he should switch up his strategy. Of course, Kentucky and Duke, primarily the the teams that take on. Uh, Freshman, one and done guys, and 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 Kentucky has not had success with that as of late. Jay Wright, of course, the former Villanova coach, uh, multi-time national champion himself, uh, spoke the other day about how he thinks the era is over for for bringing one and duns in and, and getting wins, especially because you've got older guys sticking around because of NIL uh, to stick around in college. He just thinks there's too big of a gap there. You think Kentucky's got to switch it up, maybe try to get some more college players instead of future pros? Well, I know he was kind of upset because I listened to his um, post-game conference. Yeah, he, he, was, and he, he put it all on the and, players. And he <laughs> talked a lot about, about 19-year-old players versus 25-year-old oh, players. So yeah. I don't know how many how many players that the other team had that was, you know, where they had 25-year-old players. But, you know, he needs to he needs to get back to his old coaching ways, you know, like, you know, the, the, the good teams they had at Memphis, the one he went to the final mm-hmm. four with, the the, the UMass team yep. like he used to have. He needs to go back to the old him because the new him is not working. You know, five straight years, you're out early in the postseason. So, you know, he needs to do something different. Well, you you thought Izzo was going to get beat. They, we, we, we got it done at Michigan State. Yeah, whatever. Huh? That's right. You He'll took, be out the next took, round. Yeah, right. You got it. Listen, man. You got you experience trumps how good you think a team is. I'm telling you. 
And they've been, they've been, they, it's a lot of experience, man. Look at this stuff right here, man. It, it, listen, if you guys aren't watching the wrestling championships, it is super, super exciting. Turn it on because there's some good matches. Everybody in here is on this wrestling right now. Eyes glued. Take a picture. I got to take a picture of everybody's eyes. Right now. <laughs> eyes are all glued to the TV right now. You get a chance, definitely turn that wrestling on or get down here right now. We are powered by Bauer. Bauer. Infrastructure. Bauer. Underground. Brand. Excavating. Fastest two hours in radio, y'all. I don't even know how. It's almost 1130. This is unbelievable. Lunchtime. We are here. We're going to grab us some lunch. We'll be right back after the two messages. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. 937 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather, sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today a slight chance of rain this morning, then probably sunny and breezy with an afternoon high around 49. Tonight, mostly clear, and over that low around 24. And tomorrow, a slight chance of snow, otherwise mostly cloudy, and a high around 45. I'm meteorologist Kyle Tucker from 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Now's the time to schedule your air conditioner service check with Bryant. Make sure it's ready to keep you cool and comfortable when you really need it. Call Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating, 467-1111. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Hi folks, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC and the Chevrolet and GMC Truck Month is now underway. We've got huge savings in Louisville. Get 9,000 off or 1.9% for 72 months on select models. Yes, you heard right. That's 9,000 off or 1.9% for 72 months happening right now at Koppel. So take that short money saving drive down 144th Street or check us out online at koppelcars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with roof credit. Stock number G214773. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every Every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in, pick out a new Honda, and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is 
our Customer Service Experience Award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite, and we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. Hi, Husker fans. It's Matt Davison with 1890. Coach Hoiberg and his program have had an exciting season so far, and many of you have helped Husker hoops along the way by contributing to 1890. Let's keep it going and give Coach Hoiberg the best opportunity to succeed for many years to come. Visit 1890nebraska.com and contribute today. And remember, 100% of your contribution goes directly to Husker student-athletes. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer, on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Okay, we still live. If you didn't pick it, can I trust you to go to the text line or no? Let's switch spots. Yeah, you can trust me. No, I can't. I don't, I don't think, think we got it no more because yeah, the Bob, text line's not Bob, Bob couldn't, Bob couldn't um, sign in. Well, why? We got Rico. We got Nick here. We got so many different people here. I don't understand what what's wrong with y'all. Huh? Oh, he got We're on the food, food gnosis. See that? Yeah, that's what happens when you don't know what you're doing when you're fixing a jack. You mm. almost get your pinky finger cut off. <laughs> anyway, is it what's going on? Nebraska football, right around the corner. Sunday. Sunday is going down. You plan on being there? Uh, I don't know. I seen the weather, so it's seventy percent chance of rain. Yeah, I ain't gonna go. Yeah, so no, I don't. You know, I'm not. That's a good sleep. Day I want right to go there. when it's hot, but they might be in Cook. Well, or not I, Cook, I, but well, the, with well, Hawks. Well, when it rains, VJ, I like to, I like that sleepy. What that's sleepy weather. That's good, especially it's Sunday. So you want to rest up and get ready for Monday. They might be in Hawks. We well, can go if it's in Hawks. Nice and warm for you. Well, it sounds good. Dylan Riola. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I, him and Dan Kalen. I, I think uh, when you look at both those kids, first of all, when have you ever heard of a guy that that are currently playing throwing the NFL guy? Well, especially fresh at pro so. day. Especially freshmen. You yeah. have two of them that freshmen was doing it. In. So at Pro Day. That means yeah. a lot at Nebraska. You know, you got two young guys who's who 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 the receivers trust, who can get the ball to them, especially on a pro day. Well, well, here's the deal though, what's even deeper to me. NFL guys, when they, when those scouts come in, because every year I would watch them, when those scouts come in, they are serious and it's about business, right? And if you ain't got a quarterback that can get the ball so you can get them a good look. They ain't going to stand for that. So the fact that those two guys went and they actually threw it at an NFL Pro Day, man, it's, it, it, should, it should make everybody feel a little bit better about what we got going on here in Nebraska. Yeah, I mean, they've got a long way to go with that offense. I mean, I was just looking at the numbers, too. Last year, a lot of you remember led the nation in fumbles, um, a lot of that being from the quarterback position. If they, they do switch it up, and we'll see. Heinrich Harburg is going to be out there competing for it, too. I think everybody – Probably feels that, you know, Dylan Riola is, is, is the writings on the wall for him to be the quarterback. But we'll see. If, we, we talked about it. How are they going to handle that right out of the gate? Will we know by the end of spring uh, likely who the quarterback will be? And, and will it be coming from Matt Rule's mouth? I mean, all the prognosticators can say Dylan Riola, but he's got to go out there and earn it this spring. Um, and there is. I mean, you, you know, we talk about at the basketball level, um, older players being able to beat the young talented players and, and teams that are made up that way. Um, it's kind of a similar thing here with, with this situation where you do have some older players, uh, Harburg with five games, one in the big 10 last year, but it's likely going to be pretty obvious right away that he's not the passer that Dylan Riola is. So yeah, this, uh, yeah. it, 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 it just be interesting to see. So how do you, how do you balance that uh, as far as the reps? How do you balance that? Like what's your goal as far as, when do you want to know for sure what your quarterback's going to be? Because it's going to change your offense considerably, whether it's Harburg or Riola. Oh, it's it's Riola, dude. You, what do you mean? You, you can't go into a season with Harburg when he hasn't proven that he's a passer under pressure, man. You cannot do that again. You can't go into a season even be remotely thinking that a guy who you wasn't confident in in the beginning can you all of a sudden – he turns around, he's throwing darts. I don't know if he's got that yet. I think he can get it. I don't think he's got it yet. I think as a number two, 
would be good. But I think Riola's the guy for the position. I think after he gets a couple of practices under his belt, everybody in the building, from coaches, players, and fans, will know that's the guy that we got moving forward. Not so easy, my friend, what you say there. Um, I think this offense needs to find an identity because they didn't have an identity last year. Um, I think you need to spin off. Yeah, spin. I hit it. Which one? Oh, okay. Two spot. Yeah, yeah I got my money back. Played, I told you either way you went, 43 too. So, look. 40 but, yeah, <laughs> the, 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 way, the, the way you look at it, that this, this team has established that we're going to be a running team or a passing team. You know, how about being an even team? I mean, you have to do, you have to do something. We just can't rely on the quarterback as much as we did last year because now we're switching our styles of quarterback play. Riola's not going to be that rusher that that Double H was. Uh, Double H is not going to be that passer that Riola is. So we somehow we got to figure out a way to balance this offense and and have these guys on the same page because not. We're gonna be in the same situation we was last year, and we got to find guys that can that can get open, that can run the routes good, running backs that can hit the hole, no fumbling. This got to be mostly a a, a turnover, not a, a non turnover team, because we can't go and turn the ball over four or five times and put that same expect expectations on that defense as we did last year, because. Football is getting faster and faster each year. As much as I've loved the Taylor Martinez's, the Adrian Martinez's, the Tommy Frazier's, the Scott Frost, the Eric Crouch's, dude, <laughs> I could go on and on and Some on. Of those and, things are not like the others. Dude, <laughs> I don't want to see that guy anymore around here, okay? It's not working, all right? They don't know how to coach a running run first quarterback. So let's stop playing like we do. Let's get a real quarterback. A real quarterback is a guy who can sling the ball and 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 puts us in position to win every time. That's but, what it is to me. But when you say that run first offense, every Nebraska team that had a run first quarterback offense also had a great running back. That's the thing we missing at Nebraska because we haven't been able to find a running back. We went from a guy who had 900 yards his junior year, um, barely seen the field his senior year to starting a freshman. We don't really know what he can do in the in the in the heat of the battle. We just know we just got a lot of running backs. I, I mean, I get it, man. You need a running back whether you got a Tommy back. had Lawrence, Eric Crouch had who we had. Yeah, multiple. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you name all these yeah, quarterbacks. Yeah. You, you you name all these quarterbacks, but they have weapons. Yeah, but they have weapons. That was a weapon by committee. That wasn't yeah. just no one spectacular guy and, and, and it's same thing with Tommy it, it wasn't just it wasn't just Lawrence Phillips I mean Tommy Frazier had uh, Calvin Jones well you gotta understand if, if Lawrence Phillips never got suspended he wins the Heisman either way it goes I'd agree so you know you can say you can take say Tommy was the best part but I people who played on that team Lawrence. know that Lawrence Phillips was the best player yep. on that team yep. I, I I'd agree with you I'm just simply saying that Unless you got a team around, because we have more than just running back, unless you got a team around a running quarterback, it ain't going to work, okay? In this day and age, we're not looking for that. We're paying players now, okay? So what's the other league that pays players? The NFL. The NFL. They're not necessarily looking for guys unless they're a super dual threat quarterback that can throw the ball. Are you telling me that you look at uh, what's the kid from Philly? Okay. Do we had have yeah, we had a quarterback? Yeah, Philly's quarterback, yeah. uh, Baltimore's quarterback. Yeah. Heck, you can even go to the Super Bowl winning quarterback. Do we have a quarterback that can throw the ball the way they can? No. Do we have receivers? Because I'm not going to tell you that Jackson and the other kid that I named before are great throwers, but they got receivers that will go get balls. You can't. You got to have the whole thing. You got to find receivers. Last year, I thought as a receiving. As a as a as a as a group, our receivers was the worst group on offense. That's me, right? Mm -hmm. Because they didn't fight for balls. And if you look at it, we didn't have a guy over five hundred yards receiving, did we? No. Exactly. So you you go to year before you had you had two guys I know over five hundred yards for sure. Trey Palmer and I think Washington got over five hundred. And I, I believe the tight end was close. You got to put weapons around your quarterback, no matter if he's a run guy or a pass guy. I'm just saying I'm sick of us having these run first quarterbacks and and and, and give me a pass first guy. And I don't think I you know I think that a dual threat can work. Obviously, you look at the top of the, the draft board this year. I mean, every it's like six quarterbacks that could go in the first round, all of them can scoot a little bit. 
but the the other thing is like like you said it's you know you don't for a long time people have, 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 have uh disparaged nebraska quarterbacks saying they're getting running backs that can throw instead of quarterbacks that can run uh and and so i mean you've, you've got to at least have that passing element in there but at the same time you know like you guys are saying a lot of it has to do with have you what you have around you, you a lot of mediocre quarterbacks have been brought up um by dynamic teams around them uh and we'll see i mean that's kind of what you, you have to wonder what the expectation even is for this offense let's say dylan Royola does get the start as many people expect is it okay well now nebraska can be one of the top 25 offenses in the nation Maybe it can go that quick, but right now they've got to go from awful to mediocre. Maybe there's that. Oh, awful with might be too much, Bach. That offense last year was one of the worst in college football. I, I, don't, I don't think know what they're else to awful. Tell you. Well, I, I, the numbers would say different. No, the turnovers were awful. The turnovers are part of the offense. Uh, well, and, and I think the play call at times was awful. Yeah, what, three different quarterbacks? I mean, it is. I'm not going to say awful, and you were still in games. It only – to me, I mean, awful is like – I don't know if I can say awful. You want me to look? You just mentioned there's no running There's no running backs that broke, what, 500 yards. There's no wide receivers in that True. category. I mean, these are like historically bad numbers even for Nebraska's offense. That's a point there. And it's, we were last yeah. in turnovers. Yeah, and we were turnovers, fumbles. I mean, I, I agree. I mean, there's parts of like the offensive line, I think, probably made some strides, at least compared to where it was a few years ago. But – this 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 offense. That's why I wonder what the expectation is. Because if it's for it to be great and score forty points and and just out, you know, I don't know if that's going to happen in one year. Even if you do get, uh, you know, the super freshman Dylan Raiola cook it. I don't know. I, I just think you got you. We've got some great pieces that fit in the puzzle that didn't fit last year, right? We didn't have any receivers that can break the top off. The, they couldn't break the top off of anything. Yeah. What receiver? We had one. A true freshman, a burner, and he's got to work on catching the ball better. Okay. Other than that, you didn't have a receiver, Washington, and we didn't even target him like we should have targeted him. Oh, he's out pretty quickly, yeah. Well, but we didn't target him though. You know, he got he got hurt blocking. You got a big time guy that has the opportunity to go to the next level. I'm not putting him in blocking positions. I'm gonna put these younger guys in and let them go block. I want my receivers catching balls. I don't want them blocking. Come on now. You think I want my running back blocking if he's a great runner? I want him running. I want my fullback blocking. I want my tight end blocking. I want my receivers catching balls. I want my doggone quarterback facilitating the game, handing the ball off to my great running back, and delivering the ball to receivers in spots multiple times. That's what I want. Well, and they're going to have to get the traditional run game going. If you're not going to have the, the quarterback run as much, we're going to need more out of Emmett Johnson, maybe yes. Dante Dowdell, a host of injured running backs coming back. Uh, and that offensive line, which we've been saying, has been improving year after year. Is this the year, like a lot of those guys, you know, the Bryce Benharts, they've been coming up through the system. At, at some point, you've got to put the expectation on them to 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 produce and, and, and you know, be more. So that's what I'm kind of thinking about the offense overall with the offensive line the last couple of years. It was awful. Now it's kind of in that mediocre category. So now they got to take the step up. Uh, to be a good offensive line uh, in the Big Ten that can get you some wins, get you with that traditional running game, man, would it help? I don't think they had a, a, a running back last year. Just one, excuse me, Anthony Grant once got over 100 yards. That's not a recipe for winning a whole lot of games in the Big Ten. I, I think that you can put that a little bit on Coach Satterfield because he is the offensive coordinator. We didn't give We didn't give him the ball enough. And when we did give him the ball, we put him in the game fresh, cold and then we put him in in crunch time and when he fumbles we won't blame him you can't do that as a coordinator you want to keep the guy with the high hand in the game i hope that dowdell comes in and says this is my position to take I don't, these guys ain't got nothing on me because because that will light a fire under i think emmett johnson who has the best chance of starting i don't know necessarily if i trust johnson and uh uh uh, Johnson, yeah, Irving, yeah. I, I, yeah I, I don't know if I trust them right now. I don't know if I can say, even if they're healthy, you can put them in front of an Emmett Johnson or a Dowdell. Well, we'll have to see. Dowdell's got to do, do – I mean, I know he's a high-level high recruit, uh, but he's got to do a lot on this level, even to match what they did. I mean, Revere Johnson, it, it, it's been three years now, uh, but at one time led the running back stable at Nebraska. Uh, Gabe Irvin just – I mean, these guys just can't stay healthy. So 
I I expect a contributions from him, um, and 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 maybe to to have maybe be ahead of Dowdell at first. But the, the point is, Dowdell and whoever's behind, you know, anybody in that running back room has got to be ready because I don't think what you can expect now is ten games out of Gabe Irvin, twelve games out of uh, Emmett Johnson. I mean, they're just at this point a little bit injury prone. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I just I I, I think. You know, we I think we we upgraded our football team, and I think we're going to shock some people next year. I, I really do. I think that if you really look at the, their bill of work and how they've been working in the weight room, and you and have you seen have you seen any of these guys? No, I haven't seen. Their that. bodies look different. Their bodies don't look the same. I, I, Coach Campbell is doing his thing as far as getting their bodies in well, shape we, where we, they look like football players. <laughs> I'm serious because well, we, two we, years we, ago we, we seen I'm looking the at these guys like. Man, I might as well go put something on. I look better than they do. Well, Nasty. I mean, didn't look good in their pants. The one thing that all women used to tell me all the time is, hey, can you still put it, fit in your football pants? <laughs> and they like the way it, it, you know what I'm saying? But we had, looked like we had diapers on out there. And so uh, we got to <laughs> change the narrative. We got to look the part. We can't look like a ragtag football team and expect to play great football. Well, you know, they didn't have too many size 28s at Nebraska. We probably only had 10 pairs. So, you know, only a couple of guys could get in them 28. Them, tight, them 28 tight, tight, tight pants Whatever. that we used I to could, have. Yeah, right. I, could, I couldn't get in them 28. Yeah, I had a 28. Yeah, so I, I could squeeze into a 28. You, you, that's saying something. Yeah, I, I, that, I, I, skinny I, jeans. Yeah. <laughs> no, skinny it, pants. No, it, it's called leotards. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's called, uh, what's those things? Tights. Yeah. Men in tights. Yeah. I think I was like a 34. Yeah. I, I, had a, I was like a 28 30 in game pants. Very aerodynamic. Yeah, yeah. game pants. They was, yeah. You got to get them tight as possible. Yeah. You know, as long as you can breathe up under the knee area, you okay. As long as they don't cut the circulation yeah. off, you're good to go. Is it time to go to break? Yeah, it's probably I think time it to is. go to break. Yeah. All right. Well, Block, do the honors. All right. You're listening to the captain here on 93 7 The Ticket with three time national champ for Sean Jackson. All-American and national champion self, Terrell Farley, and myself, Jake Bachman. We are live at Buffalo Wings and Rings until 6 o'clock. Uh, but you are more than welcome to stay for the Husker game as well. We'll be back with our final segment on the captain here on 93.7 The Ticket. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Go Hog Wild Pit Barbecue. Pre-order your Hog Wild Slow Smoked Easter Ham today. Hog Wild selects the highest quality whole ham and slow smokes them until they're tender and delicious. Our 100% boneless ham is approximately 4 pounds and $50. Pre-order online at gohogwild.com. Quantities are limited. Hog Wild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in pick out a new Honda and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our customer service experience award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite, and we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. Are you working in or looking to get into the electrical construction industry? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Now's the time to schedule your air conditioner service check with Bryant. Make sure it's ready to keep you cool and comfortable when you really need it. Call Bryant Air Conditioning and Heating, 467-1111. 
Ready to upgrade your combine in 2024? The team at Landmark Implement is here to help you find the right combine to fit your operations needs. Choose from 4.9% for up to 60 months or a 12-month interest waiver, followed by John Deere financial rates with approved credit through the end of March. When you purchase a pre-owned S or X series combine from Landmark, know you are backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network with mobile techs and parts drop-off points to keep you up and running. View our current inventory online at LandmarkImp.com or stop by your local Landmark to experience the Landmark difference. Are you in the market for a new garage door or need to repair your old one? It's winter time, and that means snow, wind, and freezing temperatures, all things that can cause sticky locks and damage to your garage door. If you're experiencing any issues with your commercial or residential garage door during the winter months, call Cameron Hall and his team at Doors Plus. Don't be trapped outside in the cold because of a poorly maintained garage door. Call Doors Plus today at 402-590-5800 or visit them online at DoorsPlusLLC.com. Doors Plus, garage doors and more. Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket. Okay, playing 93.7 The Ticket. Alexa, turn down the lights. Dimming the lights. Alexa, order a pizza. The big one. All the toppings. Are you sure that's a good idea? Alexa. That's a lot of pizza for just one man. Alexa, just do it. Stop judging me, just do it. As you wish. Thanks, Alexa. You're my best friend. Are you tired of living in pain? It's time to take control. At Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery, we're your one-stop shop for expert care in Lincoln. From broken bones to complex reconstruction, our skilled team will help you get back on track. Visit prairieortho.com today and discover why we're the trusted choice for thousands of patients. Don't let pain hold you back. Take the first step towards a better pain-free life with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery where healing begins. Call 402-489-4700. Problem gambling affects millions of Americans daily, of all ages and walks of life. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, contact Choices Treatment Center's 24-hour helpline at 402-476-2300. That's 402-476-2300. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. You're listening to coverage of the NCAA tournament live from Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and 0 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. I'm not going to sing it. I don't sing as well as the maestro himself. Yeah, hopefully not too many people lost their baby today. Maybe we'll get that next week uh, rolling as well. But uh, a lot of people losing their minds over their brackets yesterday with Kentucky losing to Oakland. Uh, Ten threes made from new uh, <laughs> sensation across America, Jack Golke. Jack Golke. And his receding hairline. Uh, at, have you uh, <laughs> seen? Hey, hey, have you seen his shot chart? For the season? Yes, it is amazing. Jack Golke has only attempted eight two-pointers That's all right. season. 355 shots, 347 three-point shots. Uh, he attempts 9.9 three-point shots per game. Of course, hit 10 last night. Dude's a bucket. That's my type of play right there. That that dude, that, that's fun. Bach right there. <laughs> that's he right. said, the paint? What's that? I don't know what that is. Mid-range? Never heard of her. All this all this talk, I don't know why it took analytics so long to figure out three more than two. That's A. Uh, that adds up pretty quickly. Simple math. And when you make 10 of them, guess what? Like he said, he might not be playing in the NBA. Like he said, he's not going to play in the NBA. Yeah. But on any given night, he can beat these guys in college. Well, it was fun, too, because when if you didn't watch the game, it's not just like set shots or offensive rebounds out to him. He was heavily contested. Oh, yeah. Uh, frustrating. Similar to what you kind of see with K.S.A. Tominago against Indiana, where the, the defense was just like, well, what do we do? We're right there. <laughs> and he would just hit him uh, bucket after bucket. Uh, Rico, what do you kind of think about the whole uh, kind of talk about Calipari, uh, young players winning? Is that era... Should that be done? Should Calipari think about a change there uh, in Lexington? Dude, Calipari and Patino were on one the other day because both of them said that they didn't want automatic qualifiers for smaller conferences. 
they they think that the bigger conference teams should have more more sway in the NCAA tournament, which it kind of already is that way. I don't know why they want to take away the automatic qualifiers for the smaller conferences, because then you don't get things like Oakland taking down Kentucky. Um, they said that people love the upsets in the first round or the second round, but as it goes along, people get you know people don't want to watch those teams end up playing for in the Final Four and the championships. Um, but I the way of the one and done has seemingly, you know, gone away as you haven't seen many of the younger teams winning national titles. I think the last team that, you know, be led by some younger guys was Calipari's uh, Kentucky team. What was it? 2009 or something, whatever. Anthony, Anthony Davis's Davis like, national championship. 2012, year. I think 2012. Yeah. So that was like the last like young team to win a national title. After that, it's been some, some older teams and, and it just seems like, especially after, you know, COVID and having fifth and sixth and seventh year seniors that these teams have been stocking up on older players and you need some people with experience playing in the NCAA tournament, which is what we talked about with Nebraska the other day. If you have experience playing in the NCAA tournament, you're not, you know, blown away by the sights and the sounds of going to a different city and, and, and playing in front of, you know, your your crowd your opponent's crowd and two other teams crowd and some people who aren't cheering for you but aren't cheering against you and just the mystique that comes with playing in the NCAA tournament when you have an older team with guys who have you know been there once or twice or transfer in from a different school have been there once twice sometimes even three times that's what's going to lead you to victory in this in these postseason play and and you've seen it you know time and time again with these one and done guys who and I, like, I don't want to speak for them, but some of them, it seems like maybe they're focused on, you know, once we're done here, if we, if we you know, even if I lose in the tournament, guess what? I'm going to go to the NBA and I'm going to do my thing there. Yeah. And we kind of, I mean, I, again, it's it, uh, not to that large of a scale, but we kind of seen that through the Fred Hoiberg here at Nebraska too, is they, they shuffled in some guys that talent that they can play in the NBA, um, Delano Benton, who was benched by the time he was leaving Nebraska, yeah. Bryce, Bryce McGowan's obviously led that team, but it didn't lead it to a, a successful season. And now we've seen Fred Hoiberg kind of, okay, maybe we do need some of these older guys. And now Nebraska's got a veteran team, though a lot of these guys are going to be coming back next year. Um, I, I think that's been kind of the pivot for Fred Hoiberg. We'll see if Coach Cal does that out of Kentucky as well. And the loss by Kentucky also uh, maybe changes your view. Maybe it doesn't on Texas A&M. Of course, that was one of their big wins heading down the stretch. Uh, they've won five of six with the only loss being to Florida that coming off a six or excuse me, a five game losing streak that mm -hmm. Texas A&M had the SEC altogether struggling. I, I believe it was one and three in, in, in day one. Um, does that make you any sort of a little bit more confident heading into this game against Texas A&M? You think? All right, everybody. The SEC is bad. You don't have to worry anymore. Bad. No, it doesn't change no, my no, mind at all. No. It's just, uh -oh. it's kind of like the big 10 in the NCAA tournament yeah. in years past where they've had good regular seasons and they have all these good teams and you get to the tournament and you lay an egg. That doesn't mean that the conference is bad. That doesn't mean that all of the teams are bad. That just means that, you know, some of these teams just couldn't win in the NCAA tournament. doesn't mean Texas A&M isn't a good team. I don't know if they're a good team, but like, Again, I've said it before. They're the thing that will travel is that offensive rebound. Look, they they know that they're not the most efficient team when they shoot shots. That's why they send a bunch of people to the glass. That's why they get a bunch of offensive rebounds. They're not gonna make it like they're not gonna make more shots than you. They're gonna take a lot more shots than you, but they're gonna make sure that they get more rebounds than you at the same time. And that's one of the things. Although Nebraska is much improved in rebounding, still a struggle offensive rebounding wise. And the two games that they got blown out in Maryland and uh Rutgers they they were crushed on the offensive rebounding yeah second chance points are going to be huge uh, for Texas A&M they always are uh and and like you said it's been kind of an Achilles heel for Nebraska um kind of interested to see too I mean because Nebraska has had as we've seen these last couple games they can get hot from beyond the arc Texas A&M less likely to do that as they shoot under 30 percent beyond the arc all year um, they don't shoot good, but they shoot a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. So it'll be interesting to see kind of what the, the point differential is in, in both those categories. I, I think if, if you, if you tell Nebraska, you know, kind of, kind of combine those and you're, you know, in the plus margin there, uh, I think you feel pretty good about winning this game. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, this is a huge game for someone like Juwan Gary, who is constantly moving and constantly getting, 
you know, rebounds despite not being the biggest guy on the floor. This is a game where you're going to need him and the activity of a Josiah Alec to show up big to kind of keep you close in the rebounding margin. You're probably, look, you're probably going to lose that offensive rebounding battle again, right? But if you can, you know, grab a decent amount of defensive rebounds, which will obviously cut into Texas A&M's uh, offensive rebounding, if you're able to do that and send some bodies to the glass and do what you've done for most of the season where you're you're going for great shots, you're passing up good shots for great shots, and even if Tomonaga doesn't go off like everybody is kind of hoping and expecting that he does, this Nebraska team, as we've said all season, is a pretty well-balanced squad that, you don't need one guy to go off to, to lead you to victory. So if Nebraska can keep the rebounding margin somewhat close, um, I think that'll bode very, very well for them. Yeah, it's going to be a big day for Josiah Alec, big day for Rink Mass, and it's one of those games too. And I know Rick had a few of them. He's not exactly coming in hot offensively, mm-hmm. um, but it, you know, it, it, in, and maybe they don't even win the rebounding battle, but if they can keep it close, uh, that'll be something that, I mean, and, and the, the scores are always going to get the headlines, yes. right? So, you know, who, who knows the case say Jamarcus Lawrence, those guys have been playing well. If they go off, maybe, you know, that that'll be the headline, but watch that uh, rebound call. Up. Watch the rebound, watch that rebound very call closely. Uh, Anderson Garcia, very much the man to watch out for, for Texas A&M. He averages almost 10 rebounds a game, only six points per game, number 11 out there. Uh, <laughs> uh, but he does lead them in rebounding. That's the rebound. He's just throwing back out. He's like, all right, reset the offense. Let's go. I'm not putting this back up. Just do it again. Well, they've got two guys in, in Wade Taylor and Tyrese Radford uh, that do the majority of the scoring. Wade Taylor with 18.9 points per game. Tyrese Radford, 16 points uh, per game. Uh, Radford goes 6'3". Taylor goes six foot. What's your defensive matchup? What's your defensive plan for those guys? Defensive matchup and defensive plan. Uh, for Wade Taylor, I <laughs> that's like you want to put Bri- – well, Bryce Williams potentially to use his length and and agility to do that. But I feel like Jamarcus Lawrence, who I know he's going to be coming off the bench, but you know, if you run into any type of trouble or anything, I feel like he would do a good job with his defensive ability as he's kind of leaned into that a little bit more. And, you know, with the not lack, lack isn't the word that I'm looking for, but just his not as proficient offensive ability this season as it was towards the end of last season. I feel like if he locks in defensively, that'll be something um, that'll bode really well for Nebraska. Um, and who was the other one? Uh, Tyrese Radford, 6'3", senior guard, averaging 16 points per game, number 23 out there. I I mean, you don't want to have... Th- you don't want to have Casey on on either one of these guys, right? right? You want him to save his energy for the offensive offensive end of things. He's not a liability defensively like he kind of was last season he's upped his defensive uh efficiency this year but if i'm fred and thank god that i'm not because i don't want to have to deal with this although i would take the contract um pretty good career I, like yeah a pretty good life all the yeah time. it'd be yeah. pretty nice it'd be pretty nice. i don't want to deal with this though like today i don't want this i don't oh, want okay. this um but i i would be trying to keep case from having to expend a lot of energy on the defensive side of things but you're probably going to have to have him do something on there, but I'd have Jawan. Actually, you know what? I'd have Jawan Gary on Wade Taylor, and then I would have Bryce or Jamarcus on a uh, on a uh, on Radford. On Radford, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they how they do it. Obviously, probably going to continue to double the baseline, all that sort of stuff. The, the defense that brought them here. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, as it's exciting day, Nebraska basketball again, the second time since not, the second day. Since Second 1998, <laughs> <laughs> that Nebraska has been in the NCAA tournament. Of course, the women also getting uh, set for action in the late game ridiculous. as well. <laughs> it is it's a ridiculous statement. Crazy, but that's where we are. Nebraska again, 0 and 7 all time in tournament play. Uh, they've been the eight seed before 1992 and lost. Uh, they've been higher than the eight seed before in 1991. They were the three seed 94. They were the six seed. Um, and, and again, haven't come up with a win. So we hope that hey, guess what? Today seeding doesn't matter. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Nebraska's just got to get the win. Uh, and then we can breathe easy. And, and then you're kind of playing with house money, which would make me very excited for that matchup with Houston. Uh, likely Houston, I should say. More than likely Houston. <laughs> Coming up. Look, I, look I, I would enjoy a Longwood upset. I do not foresee a Longwood upset against no. Houston. No, probably Granted, not. nobody foresaw, well, very few people foresaw Oakland over Kentucky. So yeah. who knows? And 16 seeds have beaten ones. Yep, here we've gotten that out of the way. Yeah, so. Look, if a 16 seed can beat a one, if Northwestern can get a win in the tournament, 
if uh, if uh, oh, who was he? If Duchesne can get their first win in the tournament since 1977, then Nebraska can get a win in the tournament as well. I hope that's the story coming out of tonight. By the way, updates on the scores right now. Florida Atlantic up 18 to 16 on Northwestern. Another low scoring game uh, as that has two minutes to go in the first half. Uh, what was there? Like, who's the team that had like 11 points at half against Colorado State? Uh, there's been some. There's been some. What was that uh, Virginia? They had like 14. Yeah, <laughs> they had like 14 at, at the half, and then they scored 28 in the second half. So they were on a you know scoring explosion. Yeah, and I don't have the Baylor Colgate game in front of me. But Baylor was up double digits early in that one. Yeah, as that well. was pretty much over. Uh, yeah, so uh, Colgate. Keep brushing your teeth, I suppose. <laughs> All right, that'll wrap it up for the captain here. But we'll stay live out here at. Buffalo Wings and Rings at 68th and O Meridian Park. Come and join us. Uh, prizes at the top of every hour. And, of course, delicious food and drinks all day long. Uh, we'll take a quick break out here. We'll be right back on 93.7 The Ticket. Uh, hey. <laughs> Ticket. It. It's all about the captain. <laughs> he make it all happen. It all happen. Other shows, they be lacking. Be as good as live action, as good as live action. It's all about the captain. He make it all happen. Other shows, they be lacking. You now down with the action, down with the action. All you got to do is just come through and kick it. Boy, I guarantee that you'll be loving every minute. It's all about the sport teaching every time you visit. And we giving you the game. You ain't got to buy a ticket. Hey, we giving you the game. It'll never be the same. The ticket is the name. Headed to the Hall of Fame. It'll, yeah. it'll never be the same. Nah. Hey. It'll never uh, be the same. It'll never be the same. Yeah. Uh, it'll never be the same. 